<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's Christian, Crazy, whatever you want to call me. I don't really know what this video is. It's just an idea that came up to me because of, you know, recent events. And, you know, I like to fill y'all in on my life or just fill, you know, who's ever watching on my life. If you've been watching me or, you know, just at least keeping up with me, you know that, like, I've been, you know, feeling, de well, I am depressed. You know, I do, have, I do have anxiety. And it's because of a lot of different things. And, you know, also, I've just been feeling... Pretty shitty um, in my life lately because of where I am and because of people, situations, and you know, all of that. So, pretty much, I just had the idea to kind of be the bigger person in this sense and fix something that should have been fixed like a long time ago. And yes, as you can see in the title, making up with a friend or making up with an ex friend. And I know, you know, for y'all who have been watching are probably gonna be like, Christian, like you said you ain't need nobody name. You said you ain't need nobody. You said fuck people, fuck this, fuck that. You know, you only have five friends, fuck all this, fuck all that, blase, blase. You know, you just lonely as shit and you don't care. All the rah rah shit that I've been talking. And I'm just gonna stick to that because all of that is true. I still feel how I feel. I still am at a different place. I still don't want certain people in my life. All the shit that I've been saying in my sad ass videos, you know, my boohoo ass videos, um, they're still true. I still, I still have the same stance. However, I've just been really thinking and, and thinking deep lately and kind of soul searching um, and I'm still on my soul searching journey but not all of the friendships that I've lost were bad friendships were you know shitty friendships they just ended in a shitty way because of something that I did or they did or like we both did and we butt heads and then we just stopped talking and there's certain people that I do miss and I just don't want to have an issue with them anymore. I'm not getting soft. And you know, for one of these situations, it's been a while, a long while since this happened. I've changed, I've grown up. And I'm hoping that, you know, the person that I did have this issue with, you know, has grown up as well. And I just want to fix shit, you know? I miss the person. We were close-ass friends, so close. Talked all the time, like, this was my bro. He was different, very different than the rest, but I loved him. No matter what, I loved him, you know? I loved talking to him. I loved meeting up with him, smoking with him, because he was wild, and I really wasn't, so, like, we kind of balanced each other out, and I just miss him. And we ended in such a shitty way, and it kind of makes me want to cry, because it's like, like, why the fuck did that happen? Pretty much, I'm a catch y'all up to speed and and you know update y'all on like what's the fuck going on i'm about to head to the library right now so i'll see y'all in the next clip and i'll tell y'all what my idea is or like what i'm trying to do at least i don't know and and, and honestly this video might not even be fucking posted because he might not want to talk to me ever again and i have to respect that i do because at the time you know i did do some shitty things and you know got caught up in some shitty things as well and and I'm just sorry. Hopefully this works out. Hopefully I can post this video and, and I don't know, just hopefully I can mend this friendship that I miss. We'll see what fucking happens, kids. Okay, we'll see what happens. <sighs> what am I doing? I hope I don't slip. I hope I don't slip. I hope I don't fucking slip in front of all my neighbors. Okay, I am good. Let's go. Do y'all see this shit? Although it looks very fucking beautiful, I must say. Look at this. This is all ice. All the way up here, all the way up here. I am literally sitting on ice. If I were to make one wrong step, my neck, my back, my fucking pussy, and my crack will be all broken. I'm not playing. This is, like, look, look. Look, I'm fucking sliding, bitch. I didn't sign up to come to no ice skating rink. If I slip, I swear I'm swimming this park. Bitch, this park will be, bitch, I will own this park. It'll be called Chrissy Park, okay? <laughs> And they'll be mad as fuck. Yes, they will. Like, if I were to own this park, <laughs> you would not recognize this park. This park would be the fucking trap park, okay? We doing what we want out here. Getting high out here. Baking chicken out here. Ice. <laughs> I swear, one of these fucking days I'm going to, like, accidentally kill myself. Uh, I don't know why I'm laughing, because that's really going to happen. Ooh. I look like a big black piece of gum. <laughs> give, me, give me a second, kids. Oh, God, you probably can't eat. But I literally put my camera on top of this wobbly ass trash can. So once again, if my camera breaks, this park's getting fucking sick, okay? Cool. So, what's up guys? Okay. 
pretty much what the fuck is happening is I texted my friend Safi. Actually, I think I might sit up on this table. Pretty much, I texted my friend Safi. And I was like, Safi, can you help me bring back my friendship? If y'all don't know Safi, because she's not been in any fucking vlogs that I can really think of. Um, Safi is my friend from high school. Um, she's mad short. The bitch is mad short. But, like, she's older than me. It doesn't make sense. Love you, Safi. But it doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, she's older than me, but she's shorter than me. But if she's ever in a vlog, like, y'all will see. And y'all will be like, what the fuck? Like, why is she so short? So, Safi is a really nice person. Um, really sweet. Me and her had our issues in, um, high school. But it's dead now. We've been out of high school. We're actually like really, really, really close friends now. And I love her and I appreciate her for so much because Safi has helped me out with, with honestly a lot of different friendships. Safi has helped me out in general like with a lot of different shit. So Sapphire, you're cool in my book. You will always be cool in my book. I texted her because she's bomb at, you know, handling shit she's bomb at talking to people she's bomb at like persuading people and, like she she's just good at fixing situations um because you know she's just so sweet <laughs> very intellectual <laughs> savvy i know you're probably watching this like cheesing and fucking swinging your hair back and forth but like i gotta compliment her because it's true so the deal is is that i texted her and i asked her for help because her and the boy that um that I'm friends with, and honestly, I'm just gonna say his name because like you know who cares? Chris, sup buddy? Bro, what's up? Say what's up to the vlog. You on the vlog? <laughs> everybody, be, everybody be smoking out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hope you're watching this too if we become friends at the end of this, I don't know. Safi is still friends with Chris and you know still talks to him and, 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 and all that. Like you know she's still good friends with the mofo. So Safi is a really big help in this situation. So like that's So that's why I'm explaining it the way I am because I just want you to understand Safi's place in this situation, okay? Um I sent her a text and I'm gonna put it up on the screen so y'all can see the text. Uh, this was weeks ago. This was fucking weeks ago. I have to like scroll all the way back actually. I'm gonna start here. So pretty much I texted Safi and I was like, can you do me a favor? Text Chris for me. Tell him I want to talk to him. I don't know if he still hates me or what, but just tell him for me. I want to make things right for right with him for real. So if there's any way you can get him to talk to me or message me, that would mean a lot. It'll probably be... <sighs> speak English. It'll probably be impossible and if he doesn't want to talk at all then I understand but I don't know I at least want to try. This was December 17th so this was a month and some change ago and then she said sorry I fell back to sleep but I can see what I do. English bitch. She said sorry I fell back to sleep but I can see what I do. See what I can do. I'm pretty much like you'll notice that like a lot of these texts are spaced out because I'm doing shit, I'm busy over here, Safi's doing shit, she's busy over there, so like, it's not like we text like constantly every single day, but like, we always answer each other back. My camera is rocking back and forth, this wind better fucking chill, says, I will own this park! And now this is on, what, the same day? Okay, yeah, and this is on the same day, um, she texted me later that day, yeah, I think it was later that day. She said, he has still not answered yet or read the message, also sorry, I was busy today. I'm not gonna like screenshot all this, because pretty much for like, like a month or maybe I don't know two weeks or so Chris didn't have this phone and this was the day after Christmas and she told me you know Chris answered me finally he answered me yesterday he told me why he hasn't been answering he won't have his phone until like another week or two I was just like okay so I gotta wait I was planning on filming this earlier but then this happened so I had to wait and honestly I I couldn't be mad, because that's the shit that I just had to fucking do, okay? If he ain't have his phone, he ain't have his phone. What was I supposed to do? You know, like send a carrier pigeon? No. Woo! This is a lot of talking and chalking. This was on Sunday. Okay, so now we're kind of up to date here, kids. You up to date with me? Cool. Okay, we're moving along here. Safi said, I'm sorry I'm all late, but he is being stubborn and won't listen to me. 
I kind of got discouraged here. And I peeped at Safi sent the laughing emoji. And I'm like, Safi, why is the laughing emoji here? Like, you just said you won't listen to you. So pretty much you don't want to talk to me. So I don't know why you're fucking... Like, I was confused on why she sent the fucking laughing emoji. You know what? I think that she was trying to ease the pain. Like, haha, you know, he's being stuck. You know, trying to ease the pain. But Safi, it didn't ease the pain. I was still fucking heartbroken when you said that. Okay, so thanks for trying, sis. You know, the laughing emoji is cool, but it wasn't working. So I sent four specific paragraphs. Because if y'all don't know me, I am the king of paragraphs, and I need to fucking stop. Well, actually, I have stopped for a long while because I haven't been talking to near not a nobody. When I'm upset about something or, you know, feeling shitty about something or like something is bothering me i tend to text paragraphs i don't even know why i'm trying to have a reason i don't have a fucking reason i tend to text paragraphs and it annoys the fuck out of people and i know it does and i need to stop i tend to just try to cram everything in like three four paragraphs and in reality because i don't even do this but in reality like people don't care that much to read your text because i don't well i mean i I do. I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of do, because I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? But other people don't. And I've kind of realized that now. But listen, I needed to send these paragraphs in paragraph form. I, I, I don't know if that made any sense, but I needed to. I just had to get what I had to say out to Safi so she could transfer it to him. Oh, oh, update. I should have said this before. Because y'all are probably like, why aren't you texting him? I should have said this before. Um, I'm blocked by him. Yeah, like on everything. On Snapchat, Instagram, I'm blocked by him on everything. Like, when I tell you that, like, this situation was so serious, it really stopped our friendship, cut it off completely. We blocked each other. I unblocked him because after a while, like, I was like, why, you know? What's the point of, yeah. But he still has me blocked because he's still mad. And I get it, you know, I, I fucking get it. But that's why I'm communicating through Safi. Just, just letting y'all know that, because I know that y'all were probably confused as motherfucking fuck. So, I'm glad I explained that. Yeah, so I'm blocked. Whew. Sorry, kids. I wanted to make sure that I still had footage, or I would have been pissed, because I was talking for a fucking minute. And my camera is crooked, sis. Stay upright, okay? Okay, moving on, kids. Why am I so loud in this part? I'm a high. Yes, I'm a high. I got high before I came outside today. So I just have a lot of energy and um, spunk today. It says the gas is strong. So I'm going to screenshot my fucking paragraphs and we'll just go through them. Safi said, sorry, I'm all late, but he's being stubborn and won't listen to me. So I pretty much sent her like a pair of paragraphs plural of just like what i wanted her to say to him just if, if she ever gets the chance and like he kind of opens up or like you know they have another conversation i kind of sent her this to you know kind of ease in i just wanted my point to be known you know we haven't talked in so long and it's like i can't personally talk to him so it's like going through somebody else is really hard and to be honest i want to say this I don't recommend going through anybody else, okay? I don't, you know, unless you're blocked and, like, you know, the other person is cool with the other person, I don't recommend going through somebody else because that tends to start more drama. Trust me, I know. So, like, advice for people who, like, maybe going through the same thing, just try to directly talk to the person. Don't go through somebody else because... It tends to start drama or, like, it tends to look kind of weird. But since Safi's close with Chris, that's what I'm doing. Just be careful with who you bring into your, your, you know, your shit. So I just said, well, listen, just give him my number and tell him that it's been literally almost a year. I'm 20 now and I'm over it. So if he ever wants to talk and move on, tell him, just text me. I miss talking to him and smoking with him. To be honest, I just miss doing dumbass shit with him. So whenever he's ready parentheses maybe soon or maybe later close parentheses i'd be happy to talk to him and plus there's a lot of things that i don't even think he knows or understands so just let him know that i'm ready to clear everything up and if he really doesn't want to then it's whatever but at least i'm trying right now but yeah just send him my number and tell him what i said or just screenshot this and send it to him on sunday so this was oh wait the same okay yeah the same day just just a lot later. Safi said, sorry, Christian, that I didn't respond earlier. Just been a really hard day. <laughs> I answered Monday. It's okay, LOL. Don't worry. I understand. Safi said, okay, I'm doing better today. How can I help? And then I just replied yesterday. At 11, 12 a.m., I said, sorry, now I'm late. Hand over face emoji. But listen, just screenshot those four messages I sent to you and send it to him. 
the ones that I sent before you said, I'm sorry, Christian. Just try to get him to understand that I genuinely miss him and I want to talk and move on. Safi said, oh, I already screenshotted that and sent it to him that day. He opened it, but didn't answer. So that was another part that I... <laughs> that I got said it and like, I'm man enough. Yes, I'm man enough. No, but like, I'm being man enough to say that it did hurt because for her to say that he opened it and you know, didn't answer, you know, it hurt, you know, just as much as like, I don't know. I know people are probably gonna say, oh, Christian, like you're a pussy, you're a mad pussy for, you know, saying that it hurt, but it did because like i'm really trying because this was a friendship that i cared like oh my god like this was a friendship that i really cared a lot about okay because we went through some shit we did but like we were close as fuck and then like one little thing and like we didn't talk for i don't even know how long we haven't talked like almost a year maybe but it's just making me fucking sad because i just want to be your friend again People can say what they want about Chris, and people have said what they want about Chris. Shit, I've defended the fuck out of Chris. I've always had his back, he's always had mine, and I just miss him. I do. So, at that point, I was kind of like let down, like, may like maybe this just isn't gonna happen. Like, maybe I should fucking stop trying, and maybe I need to just fucking stop and just move the fuck on. Cause, like I said in my other video, my, I'm the reason why I'm sad. I tend to not move the fuck on. I always need fucking answers. For people who are like me, like you have to understand, you're not always going to get those fucking answers that you fucking want so bad, but you're not always gonna get those answers because people have moved on. It's a different time. It's not always gonna happen. And that's, that's real. So I sent a paragraph to Safi. Okay, good. Then at least it was sent to him. I don't want to beg or annoy him. So I guess it's whatever for right now. I'm not gonna go overboard trying to get him to talk to me. Just let him know that his friendship always meant a lot to me. Honestly, more than he even knows. At one point, he was the only friend I had, and that's something you can't, you just can't forget. I'm here whenever he's ready, and if he never is, then at least I got this shit off my chest. I'm not saying do it now, but I guess whenever you feel like he'll listen, then tell him what I said, and that I apologize if I hurt him in any way. Safi then said to me, I'll try again. I said, all right, thank you, but don't try to push him or pressure him, you know? I don't want him to get too annoyed or like more mad. And that's true. You know, you don't want to ever pressure somebody to get you to understand you, you know? And and un and unfortunately, I had to learn this the fucking hard way, Sess. When I tell you, I had to learn this the hard way. When I want to fix shit, I want to fix shit now, and I want to fix shit now. And that's just how I am. And it fucks people up because it's like, maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're just not ready. Maybe they just don't want to. Christian, stop trying to push your big self into other people's lives and and honestly i just had to realize that the fucking hard way so so i said that and i meant that because it's like i just don't like i don't want him to feel like i'm like trying to make him you know be nice to me make him like me again you know because like you never want to do that to people you never you never want to do that because because nine times out of ten it just doesn't work out and so then she said because Safi's weird like this but like Safi Safi knows how to get her away okay like Safi's a fucking sly dog <laughs> Safi knows how to get her away all the time no but Safi I will give you that credit um and like you kind of have to give her that credit because she does get her way most of the time because like I said like Safi's intelligent Safi knows how to get her damn way period and i'm not even gonna go further into that she pretty much said to me well he owes me a favor so i can at least get him to text you i'll talk to him when i get back home from school and then i said all right safi thank you so much and have a good day at school we'll talk to you later blase blase the rest of these messages are just me and safi kind of like peeking back and forth so pretty much i put the fucking weight of me rekindling this friendship in the hands of a small white girl because this was last night she texted me today this morning at 8.24, she said, hey. Just hey, no emojis, no nothing. She literally just said, hey. Pretty much, that could go several ways, sis. When I get to the library, which I've been out here for so long, my hands are like stuck together. So, I'm kind of nervous because she just said, hey. No, it happened, no, he's gonna text you, no, like any of that. Like all she said was, hey. Hopefully hey is good. And I'm just hoping for the best. I'm really praying for the best. Hopefully she got him to, to talk to me. We shall see kids, we shall see.
Guys, look. The Snickers that I'm about to get has Snappy on the back of it. <laughs> they knew. They knew I was about to come in here and grub on it. So they said, I'm going to describe you in one word and you're gonna get me. That's exactly what they did. So I'm in the library right now. Oh, sorry. I'm in the library right now. Um, and I have to be quiet as hell because there's people working around me. So I don't want to disturb the peace. That's the piece I do not want to disturb. Anyway, I just texted Safi, okay? I have this on screen record, so like when it pops up, like I can show you guys, cause like I wanna be like high tech today. She said, hey. I said, hey back. She said, what you doing? I said, nothing, just doing some work at the library cause that's what I'm doing. And then she said, I'm about to um, head home from school laughing emoji. Like she already knows what I wanna ask. And I think she's beating around the bush because it probably didn't go as well as she thought it would have gone. So I already know that it's probably some shit because I feel like she would have said it or like told me by last night if, you know, it worked and like, you know, she got through to him and we'll see. I said, nice OL, laughing emoji. Why are you there so early? You know, trying to break the ice or whatever. And then after that, like right after that, I typed, and how did everything go last night? Two question marks. I'll update you guys when she finally answers back because I feel like she's hesitating to answer back because she knows. At this point, he probably does not want to talk to me. But I'm going to have high hopes and hopefully she says yes. So hopefully she says that everything went good last night. That's what I'm hoping. So we shall see. Sorry, I had to turn the camera off because there was a man that walked in and <laughs> and he was at the urinal and I wasn't going to vlog while he was at the urinal, so I just had to leave. Hopefully the wind's not too strong and you can hear me, but it didn't work out. It's just he's not ready. Um, Savvy said that um, it's going to take him a little while to, you know, get over what happened and... And like I said before, I have to respect that. It's something that I have to respect. But if he needs time, then I'm gonna give him time. I just hope that it's not too much time. I hope, you know, he takes the time that he needs and we can become friends again soon enough. Because everything I said, I meant. I do miss him. And hopefully we can get over this. I can't even talk right now, it's so cold. I just hope that we can fix shit. I really do. Only time will tell.